um, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another a cherry on top you YouTube hop. And um, here at the very beginning of April, uh, we are going to uh, focus on the theme of spring. And um, I decided to focus on March because I am I made this page on the 29th of March and uh, we had snow this morning. So I'm really putting an emphasis on early spring on my page. And I wanna talk you through what I've done so far and then uh, you can join me in finishing up the page and um, adding some detail. Um, I started with the idea that I wanted to convey what it feels like in early March when um, we're impatient for spring and there's a fall spring and then there's more snow and I'm in Michigan, so this is our reality. We also um, had an ice storm right at the end of February and so much of March uh, there were branches everywhere on the ground and so I have a picture of a pile up. I actually think it's a really pretty picture. For some reason, I love the look of um, logs piled up, but they they took the bigger branches and cut them up and they're waiting for the wood chopper. So that's like what I'm going to remember about this March. Also, these little up uh, flowers coming up, you can see the green, the green is really exciting, um, but it gets covered by snow. And there it is again, and then covered by snow. So I write about that in my journaling, I've got a photo. And then I just have a picture of myself with a hood on because yes, it's blustery, it's cold, and I continue to be bundled up throughout March. But it is early spring, I mean, technically, and, and we have had different light, you know, that those longer days and the really beautiful um, spring light. So I wrote about that in my journaling too. So that's the theme of the page. Um, the other thing about March is lots of beautiful bird songs, and I've really been in love with birds lately and studying them. So I want to use some birds on my page, and I chose one of the tags with a bird. Um, that became part of my journaling. But let me say a little bit about my obsession with cut apart tags lately. Um, I think you've seen this in my other videos, and it continues into this month. I never really know what I'm going to gravitate toward. But um, I'm working with Wildflower, the Simple Stories in My Mind's Eye collaborative um, collection. It's so beautiful and um, very flowery, and um, I wanted to include the flowers, but not really foreground, like the butterflies, the moss, the, the truly like later in the season kind of imagery. And so, um, and I also just really, really love patterns and pattern paper. And so I wanted to use this gorgeous background, which is yellow. And for me, yellow is really a sign of spring. And then the cut aparts, one side has the patterns at the top of each tag. And so I thought that was a great way to mix up the whole idea of layering. Instead of cutting layers of paper this time, I just wanted to bring in the different patterns in the line through the cut apart tags and um, and the washi tape. And so pretty much all of the washi tape is represented. There's a little, you know, how you get a little stack of it from Simple Stories. And um, there's the numbers in the blue gray, and then these florals and a, a, a grid, a really pretty blue grid, and a mustardy color um, that picks up the color in the papers and um, the stickers. So yes, I am working with one line this time, almost exclusively, and uh, that's very unusual for me. I usually like mix it up and get really eclectic, but I really love this line and I, I got quite a bit of it and wanted to like use it together. So let me tell you what I've done so far and what I want to do for finishing touches. Um, I've already Maybe we should start with the sticker book. These sticker books um, from American Crafts are really, um, are simple stories. Uh, I'm not sure, like, I guess they're different companies, but the, they're very similar in what they include. And uh, they're really great for layering. They're very versatile. You can use them forever. They contain so much. You can see that I've pulled things off. There are borders. I haven't really used the borders yet. Um, but I have used some of the larger stickers and um, some of the numbers and some of the florals. I don't know that I want any really large florals on what I've got here, but I know they're there. I can come back to them. I love the two alphas they include in the sticker book because you can use them together for subtitles or to mix up the kind of title you're coming up with. And um, yeah, so I used uh, one to, for the early 
and the other for spring and my title I layered them on a, a cut apart um, sort of journaling block it's a little different from the tags I don't think it was a tag it has something that says date underneath and um, we'll get back to the sticker book because I pulled a bunch of things out as possibilities to continue to use things from it um, but uh, yeah, so you can see I just layered the tags back here. I did staple a little bit of ribbon onto each tag. On the green, I decided to cover most of it up with um, pink, in part because there's just not that much green yet in March, but also um, because it's a very different green from the rest of it. And I think it's okay to have a little spark of it, but I didn't want it to be distracting because um, it's a little bit different from this really muted green in the, in the line. Um, let's see. So I, I stapled on ribbon. I also used something from uh, the part of the collection called decorative brads, but the decorative brads uh, comes with a few little chipboard pieces. And so there was a chipboard tag. And it says, hello friend, but I think of like spring as my friend. So I'm like, hello friend, yes, are you, are you here? And um, again, I put a little cheery yellow ribbon, stapled it on. Um, so yeah, so what you see so far is really just tags from the collection with ribbon, and then one tag, I, I did my journaling. I wanted to point out that usually I use a black gel pen. This time I used a gray one, and I feel pretty good about it because it matches the gray in the line and the birds, and it doesn't, it's not quite so stark. It kind of keeps with the subtlety of the colors, but I didn't have enough room, so I just uh, used another tag, just continued on the bottom. And then I think it's kind of cool just to fold it up and have part of it a little bit concealed. Um, so I already talked about my title. The other thing is I pulled off a number, um, and uh, there are larger numbers. So I used the 3 for March and the 23 for the year. I had a little March stamp, and I used speckled egg, which has all these sticker possibilities on it, but Distress Oxide and speckled egg to, to stamp March here and on um, some of the tags up here in kind of a um, uh, triangle, and then circled March on the month tag from the collection. And I think that brings you up to date on what I've done. You can see the washi tape I just like wrapped around a couple of the cards to bring those patterns in. So let's think now about what we want to add. I know I want um, a, a few more stickers and they'll provide the somewhat larger embellishments. I thought um, I might use something from Paige Evans' um, line. What is this called? It's a new line by her called Blooming Wild um, because it does have a little bit of that green from the ribbon and um, the florals match pretty well. They're a little brighter, but I'm going to think about that as a possibility. Um, the, the circle brads um, with the metal rims. And um, then, of course, sequins. I always love those. I'll add those probably as a final touch, maybe not on camera. But I thought Scranton, I could pick out some good pale pinks and yellows from that one. And then London, I'm going to work a little bit more with the gray. I also picked out a very messy uh, bottle of tinsel um, uh, silver mist, which I think I'm just going to sprinkle on at the very end. Again, probably not on camera because this is like really messy. I have to be kind of careful with it, but I wanted to let you know what I plan to use. Um, these are from a crepe paper line. Again, one that I think is kind of new and the colors match really well. So that would be my good option for enamel dots. And I used my punches to punch leaves. I haven't really tried out. This is the only color not from the line, but I kind of like it because I wanted something a little bit darker. This is from a Jen Hadfield, um, Peaceful Heart, I think it is from last year. And, and so, and it also gets a little bit more of the green in there. So I think I'm definitely gonna use those. I have a cardinal punch and two other birds. I love the Tim Holtz bird punch from a few years ago um, because it has a little sticky up tail. Okay, so you know I love birds. And I pulled out the pumice stone and the Tim Holtz um, applicator in case I wanna go around the edges of my, my punches a little bit to make them show up. I've done that on these two birds and I think it helps so they don't, they don't blend in quite so much. I also did it on this bird. So that's uh, maybe enough talking and now you can just kind of watch me as I think about where I want to put things. As usual, I'm probably going to start with a somewhat larger um, stickers or things that I will have in the array um, and then build in smaller. And I'm looking 
as you can see here, I'm looking for areas where something seems like it just has a home. And um, that side of the bird is good, though I don't want all the birds facing the same direction. But I think I'm going to go ahead. Again, it's a little space that's calling out for something to fill it. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm doing this off camera, but it's just um, get a little bit of this ink along the edges and then see how the image becomes more distinct. Um, yeah, I think that shows up pretty well. So just take my good old rolling adhesive. I love punches. I just, I have quite a collection from way back in the day and I'm not really willing to give any of them up because I continue to find ways to use them and enjoy the ease of using a punch, even though I do have a die cut machine and do that as well. Um, and I had thought about, as long as we're working with the punches, I had thought about a couple birds right at the bottom of my selfie um, because they these are light, the pattern papers are pretty light and that gives a little bit of a darker background. And um, I'm really happy to foreground birds on this layout because it's what I've been thinking about the most with early, early spring in Michigan. Um, yeah, so those are cute. I have more. I don't know how much more I want to put on. Those are facing this way. These are facing that way. So that's good. Um, I know I want something down here, but do I want a bird? Um, it kind of frames it a bit, so maybe I do. I definitely want to get a little ink on this guy and see. And, of course, if you use a black or a, a brown, a stronger color, you're going to have an uh, even, even more distinct image. But see, that helps a little bit. And it looks pretty cute down there by the logs. So I'll go ahead and adhere that. The other side is cool too. <laughs> Punches always like give you that dilemma of like which side. Um, okay. Um, the other thing I punched out, as I said, are these leaves. And um, I knew I wanted um, a leaf above the washi tape. So I think I'm just going to, these are dark, so I'm not really going to worry about inking them. I cut some, uh, punched some that are not this green too, but let's kind of start with that. Um, oops. There's a little empty space right there on the tag that's kind of calling attention to itself. Um, I like to work in threes, so let's pull out this third green leaf and think about a place for it. Um, maybe up here or up here. Yeah, kind of. I kind of like them coming off of the hole in for uh, the the holes in the tags. I didn't punch those out. I'm perfectly okay with just the white. Um, but some people might be happier like punching them out. Um, and some people might be happier like threading the ribbon through it. Um, I kind of like the 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 quick approach. So that's what I've taken. And I want to think about some of the stickers. Some are somewhat smaller, and then there are a few that are a little bit larger. I was thinking, so thinking maybe right here. I wanted to bridge, this tag is a bit short, so I wanted to bridge it with some embellishment. Um, I like, uh, I like that color, but it feels a little isolated. There's a little bit over here, but maybe pull in more of that with these flowers. Um, I also want to point out that if you wanted to do journaling around the page, tags are a great way to do that. There really is space if you wanted to kind of like have little notes about your subject all around the page. And I did consider that, but um, decided that just lengthening my little block of journaling would work just as well. Mm -hmm. This, of course, is an empty spot up here. I love the stickers in the sticker books because they're uh, thin and matte. 
and they're very easy to like wrap around photos and tuck in places. I have another March and um, so they're all kind of on that side. So maybe right here at the bottom of this tag. Okay. I love the small doily um, from the stickers, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to tuck it under something, something like that. And that's kind of good. Um, it's very intuitive. I can't really talk you through this process because it's just sort of moving the color around. Like knowing I've got a couple of those here makes me want to like put a couple up here. Um, since I put in my dark foliage, I don't know if I want this to. I think maybe not. Um, okay, I'm going to say that's good for the stickers for right now and, and probably good for these guys. Um, I'm going to keep the whole these in reserve and think about whether... I also have some blue-gray birds. Think about whether um, I want to add any more. But for right now, you get the idea of what I'm doing with those. And um, yeah, so we also have these cool, the sticker book has cool postage, faux postage. Oh, this little pink guy is really great. It's fun to have like circular elements, I think, because they break up all the blocky things. And we don't want to call attention to anything like December, so maybe putting one right there is a good idea. Um, oh, I had to smile, because I am smiling here, so I thought it's possible f to kind of bridge this tag and the photo with this sticker that says smile. It's pink and kind of subtle, so it doesn't. it's not a big deal on the page, which I like. Um, Okay, but then we had talked about Brad's. Do I want any more chipboard on the page? That's the other question. Um, I had thought that this could take us up here into the corner. And I'm still thinking that might be fun to layer over the flat sticker since the colors coordinate so well and it kind of pu puffs up the, the tag in a nice way. Um, This little chipboard picks up all the colors. Um, there we go. You see what I like about that is it just fills in this space and kind of calls attention to the march and the bird. Um, okay. I think I will probably add a few brads and a few little enamel dots and a few sequins and some sprinkles <laughs> but those are all um those are all kind of go like this in a diagonal i think and um yeah i think i'll just do that off camera as i said some of it's going to be kind of messy and i'm going to need some glue for the sequins so i'm not going to get into that but you can check that out on my instagram and this gives you a really good idea i think of what went into the page and thanks for joining me on the hop. Be sure to hop, hop along to the other creators um, on the Cherry on Top YouTube hop and leave, leave us comments for a chance to win some score, store credit. <laughs> thanks, everyone, for showing up, and happy spring.